Hello and welcome to how to install essentially a Minecraft randomizer, but it's not really a normal randomizer like you break something, it is the every five seconds you get a random item. That is exactly what this randomizer does. Now, personally, you can. I, first of all, just went into the Phoenix SC. First of all, thank you for this. But uh, I went into his description and downloaded it, the data pack from there. I'm going to show you how to install it. First, you would click this link, even though I'll personally put it in my own link. So you can go check down there. It'll take you to this website. Now, ignore all the ads on this side and up here. You are going to want to click in a green box right here. I here I'll reload the page so it should show the proper thing. It will say download 10.62 kilobytes. It's very very small. You click that. You click off whatever pops up on your screen because it's gonna try and open a new window. You don't want that. You only want this. It's already downloaded. So you see how it says open? Don't open it. Go into Minecraft. Go into single player. Just literally like see this? You just click on a world. Click edit. Click open world folder, and it should take you into your uh, your files for Minecraft. And now you are looking at the world, the folder for that world you just clicked on. So, you go into data packs. There's nothing there. Got it. So you have to put the data pack that you just downloaded, that zip file, into this area. So, for me it's easy. I would just go into my downloads, and I would copy it. I would click copy or cut whichever you prefer and I'm gonna click back to get back to where I was but if not you could just go into like different menu and just click copy and then paste it once you have this open but you're just gonna paste that there and that's all you should have to do you should just click out of that Oh, I should probably go full screen you click save and then I ignore my spelling I was just testing this world but just play the world and it might take a little bit before it actually starts working because for me it took about a minute and then it just started working and it worked fine after that but this test world wow that's loading slow sorry about this you're at a hundred percent why aren't you open <laughs> it's just sitting there and oh, there we go okay as you can see I already have things in my inventory but I'm just gonna get rid of them sorry for the FPS problem it's uh just a little bit weird so I have nothing okay five seconds redstone repeater a little bit, I'm gonna get a magenta glazed terracotta. I also got a bat spawn egg. Oh, I got a dispenser. So this can give you one block or an item out of about, I think, over 800 items. And it is completely random. I got a pillager spawn egg. That was a mistake. Uh, yeah. So, every second, or every few, five seconds, you will get a random item. See, I, now I got a banner pattern. I don't even know what to do with that creeper charge, okay? I got some grass. I got green concrete powder. Got a crossbow from killing the pillager. I got raw rabbit. So, it's very simple to install, and you don't even need to look for, like, app data or anything like in my other how-to. This is the simplest how to install a data pack for Minecraft. So, this has been me, Arakira. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out my randomizer series. And check out the series that I'm going to be doing of this very soon. Remember to check it out, and I shall see you next time.